Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 17, Thoughts. This episode is called The Honeymoon. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to including this episode. And the, let's see, yes, the episode is rated TV-14, so will this video be? Let's dive right in. Let's see, so, yeah, um, really loved the fight between Ruby and, and Daisy, and, and yeah, this thing of, you know, yeah, she doesn't want to be Daisy, she wants to beat Daisy. That's what the the poster was for the other kind of motivation. So, yeah, very nicely done there. And, yeah, Fitz makes a insensitive remark about Elena's arms. And I do really appreciate that he apologized. You know, basically apologizes. Like, he admits that he was wrong. You know, if this had been made, like... 30 years earlier, maybe even only 20 years earlier, it would have been like, ah, stop being so sensitive, you know, but we are more, yeah, more sensitive today to people, to minorities. Moving on, the, let's see, yeah, and, and you know, Deke takes a bullet, but the... <laughs> And then he and and Daisy argue, which, yeah, if you're if you're recovering, you really don't want to get too agitated, you know. Let's see. And and yeah, Ruby is taken back to her room, which has now had everything that gave it personality removed. It looks like a cell. It looks like the one Coulson was in now. Other than the fact there's still a bed. And let's see, yeah, great scene between May and and Coulson. You know, it really needed to happen. You know, for for May to call him out on the decisions he's made recently, and this thing of you know, those decisions are to be made with people who love you, and that's me. I love you. Yeah, I thought that would shut you up. And let's see. Yeah, and and Werner, you know, unlocks the the door and and go to to Ruby's and goes in. You know, I thought your attitude should be one of gratitude. And and yeah, I like this thing. You know, he says, "I wanted to show it to you first. You know, and the. Yeah, the fact that he, you know, he saw someone unlock the door once, and yeah, he remembers everything because of the memory machine. And let's see, yeah, and the the chamber that you know infuses the gravitonium. I'm not certain if it's supposed to be the same or it just it certainly looks a lot like the one that Steve Rogers went into to get his powers in World War II, which does make a lot of sense. That one worked. And, yeah, also a really good scene when, when Ruby confronts the general. And, you know, yeah, she points out, you, you know, um, Whitehall made choices for you, and you're making choices for me. You know, you're doing the same thing, which sadly, you know, yeah, sometimes... You know we're we're stuck in a cycle. We perpetuate. You know, and a, a lot of people end up treating their own offspring the way their parents treated them. It it can be very difficult. You know, it can serve as a as a model for good and for bad. And let's see, not gonna lie, when Ruby said, "You're my weakness," I thought that meant that she was going to kill the the general but yeah not not yet at least and let's see. yeah and and we see Talbot you know his his PTSD makes him you know almost attack Daisy which you know one can understand you know he he does explain you know I know that wasn't really you that was an LM DJ 
and but yeah, again, a, a sensitive depiction of something that for too long was not taken serious in Western media. And yeah, Elena tells Fitzsimmons what you know we, the audience, already heard the the future Elena say in Prelanist we have to let Coulson die, you know, that's, they're really building to this thing that's been, you know, the, the idea that he is going to die has been, you know, yeah, they, they mention it a bunch of times, you know, they, they know it's going to be really dramatic, yeah, and very clever that the yeah you know Elena thinks she can handle the mechs the way she's used to handling these kinds of things you know with her super speed but the arms have not been calibrated for the super speed and obviously there's not a direct you know nobody in real life has super speed but the the you know when you when you listen to to people who get prosthetic limbs you know like for a while in in western media it was basically treated as you know yeah at at first it was treated as like oh this is terrifying it's the worst thing ever then it was treated as like oh you know it's a perfect solution you know it's just there there you go and and you know yeah Today we're we're learning it's not 100 percent you know perfect. There are some issues that you know yeah people who get prosthetic limbs have to deal with, and I really appreciate that being reflected in media. So the shootout, I know these two can't die, and I do love John Woo. It's it's you know very cool to you know. The, there's that one part where the, it's like slow motion and they turn, you know, they're still, they're standing back to back the whole time, but they, they turn 180 degrees, you know, very cool. It's, I, I am not really the biggest fan of how Fitz and here also Simmons, you know, are now able to just, yeah, you know, people can fire the, you know, they can be facing multiple people who are firing assault rifles or SMGs directly at them. And somehow it's only Fitzsimmons, you know, being able to hit anyone. I just, I, I kind of wish that they, it would just be that they like, they were, they were behind cover and they stuck the hand up and fired, you know, but blind fire, I think it's called, you know, some, something like that. I do appreciate that it ultimately did fail. And and yeah, very cool fight between Elena and Anton. And and yeah, the the idea that he's the one controlling them, so you take him out, you know, yeah. There's a certain it, it makes sense that quite I quite appreciate. And I kind of appreciate that Deke, even when on drugs, respects consent. You know, he's like, I wouldn't want to kiss Daisy if she didn't want to do it. <laughs> and, and you know, even on drugs, he's like, oh, Mac, you're so cool. You know, maybe I should shave my head. <laughs> and, and, yeah, you know, the, he wasn't protecting her because it was tactical. He's protecting... Daisy, you know, Deke was protecting Daisy because he likes her. Let's see, and uh, let's see. Then we have the um, right. Uh, yeah, Ruby and and Werner arrive, and yeah, they're going to to threaten Simmons. If Fitzsimmons back into fixing the the thing and and yeah Werner takes one look at the the component and can tell you know without this one it won't work and then we get the the chilling post credit scene of you know Talbot gets to make the call but 
the the you know when he's talking to Carla, you know she is is you know feeding him the the lines of you know the the activation lines. Take a deep breath. You know, are you ready to comply? And he you know says happy to comply, which you know yeah very very effective and and yeah like they had talbot for a while of course they they did the you know that part of it also they weren't only extracting information they were also you know yeah maybe it's it's a good backup plan you know because if if you know hale has been clearly hale has been paying attention the agents on the show are really really good at rescuing people so yeah, let's see, and yeah, um, uh, IMDb Trivia points out, while preparing their parachutes, Gemma casually notices Fitz has no problem with the straps this time, to which Fitz replies they've come a long way. They're talking about when Fitz attempts to rescue Simmons, who jumped out of the bus, but fails to strap his parachute, forcing Grant Work to go instead. It's the second time this event is mentioned in Season 5. And let's see. Oh, so yeah, there's a, a factual error according to MDB Goofs. The surgical hat Mac wears while operating on Ward is normally supposed to keep hair and sweat from falling into a clean surgical feed. As Mac is bald, it is a pointless prop, especially so when his mouth and hairy beard aren't being covered by a surgical mask. Yeah, I don't know if we can chalk that one up to to Piper struggling with, you know, she. And, and I do like that, this thing of, yeah, you know, she was training to be, she hasn't done the full training, and apparently anesthesia, you know, the, the not the Russian, the other, the, the yeah, the drug, is, is you know, that comes on a later page, so you really need to take Dr. Strange's advice there and put it in chronological order. But the, yeah, you know... She she doesn't have the full training, but but yeah, I I don't know if it's I feel like if it was intentional, they would have had a line calling it out. Maybe let's see. Oh, <laughs> Mac tells Piper the six-digit code. The door opens before Piper presses all six buttons. Yeah, and huh. Someone listed as a plot hole, Elena discovers that she suffers intense pain when attempting to use her new artificial arms in conjunction with her super speed power. This is actually her second time using these abilities together. She should have discovered the problem during the previous episode when she pushed Mac into the cell and locked the door and, and yeah, closed the door. She would have had to use arms. Yeah. I don't know if it's an if it's accurate to call it a plot. No, yeah, because it does affect the plot. Because she was supposed to just grab the gun. Who? I, I. It's been a little while. It's. It's caused. I. I might throw a parade. It's been a while since IMDb Goof's plot hole was an actual plot hole. Because she wouldn't have gone out and dealt with uh, Anton if she could have just grabbed the the guns and this whole thing. Yeah. Now the. Let's, Right, and, and yeah, we get a reference to Blade Runner. Talbot uses the term skin job to describe the life model decoy that shot him. 100% believe that Talbot watched that movie and would make a positive reference to it. That's, yeah. Let's see. Does that sound like I'm dissing the movie? It's a, it's a very well-made movie. And... Do you guys live in some fifth dimension freak show? I'd say that's a relatively accurate description of our day-to-day -day life. Let's see. And... Oh, for the love of flapjacks, do you ever have any good news? You're telling me we got our asses handed to us by little green men? They were big and blue. And let's see. I'm sorry you never got the honeymoon you dreamed of. Nonsense! I'm protecting England from evil robots with the man I love. 
I do 100% believe, you know, that that's probably a diary entry from teenage Gemma Simmons, you know, forget that, you know, fancy, you know, traditional kind of honeymoon, I want to fight robots, and... Yeah, the, the, um, I like Deke saying, you're this kind to everybody who takes a bullet for you. And, right, and yeah, Piper tells Deke, you're on a lot of drugs, but good news, you didn't die. I would have thought the drugs would be the good news, but okay. Right, and I also like the, you know, when, when Ruby tells, you know, Daisy, I want to beat you. You can, you know, the response is you can certainly try. And right, and I like, yeah. Ruby says you're prettier in person, and Daisy responds and meaner. And Talbot saying Brigadier General outranks a Boy Scout. And see. Yeah. The, um, I I do also really appreciate like General Hale does have a point, you know. Telling Ruby, you went against my orders and nearly murdered Creel. We need him for this. You know, she did specifically say, you know, we want them alive. And let's see. I think that might be about. Yeah, uh, I should be able to do another episode tomorrow. Really looking forward to it. I like how, you know, Fitz keeps bringing up this thing of, you know, can we actually fix this? Because we did try before, and we failed before. Let's see. When Piper says, you know, cause, yeah, Deke is talking about kissing... Daisy. And then Piper says, I mean, she's she's not my type, but I I get it. Is that supposed to be like... I guess that could be read as... I mean, I, mean, I don't know if she is sapphic, but, you know, I, I guess it's kind of saying there wouldn't be anything wrong with that, so, yeah. Props. And let's see... I think that is everything that I have to. Right. I also I liked when when May you know she like did one of the writers like think that they should have done this and that's how it ended up in the script because May goes through like you know all these different things she would have, you know, that they could have done to, to avoid Coulson being taken by by Hale. But but that was, you know, and, and eventually he's just like, are you going somewhere with this? 